Good afternoon, wives and future wives. Welcome back to The Wife Side. I am LaCole Hansen. If you are a new wife or a new future wife to this channel, please make sure you click that subscribe button below. I upload videos every Sunday and I talk about all things wives. So today is actually New Year's Eve and I am literally, I was just came downstairs, I was gonna make me a sandwich and I was like, I'm gonna do a video. <laughs> so it's literally just spare the moment. I just wanted to talk to y'all about, you know, what's been going on in 2017 for me and um, just a little bit of what I expect from 2018, which in life you should not have expectations because every time you do, they never go as planned. <laughs> so, I am just casual today. Um, babe is at work. He gets off at two and right now it's 12.54. So I wanna try to whip up a sandwich. I wanted to clean up, but tomorrow is the new year, the official new year's day or new year's day. You know, that always gets me. Like I hate that you cannot put an S. It's just one year, so it's new year, but it's the official day for the new year. And I'm gonna clean up so I'm going to be cleaning up tomorrow. I'm not going to clean up on New Year's Eve because I'm still in my I want to relax mode. So I know I got um, clothes to wash tomorrow. I got three bathrooms that need to be cleaned because we've had guests over. Um, Aiden came. And if you don't know who Aiden is, Aiden is my stepson. I talked about him a little bit in a video in my um, Christmas shenanigan videos. I'll link that above. Um but he came so our house it's normally clean from the eye but to me i'm a wife that i'm like listen i ain't cleaned up in a month i do a hard cleanup at least once a month and then throughout the the weeks and the days i'm always like wiping down stuff or you know sweeping and stuff like that but i need to do a hard cleanup i need to clean for sure that bathroom 100 percent um so I'm gonna do all that tomorrow, but let's get right into this video. I was just rambling. <laughs> Going into 2017, I had already knew that me and my husband was gonna get married. Um, we did not do a big wedding, which we were planning on doing in 2018. Um, but just the way things worked out as far as, you know, not everybody was gonna be able to travel. We didn't know how the weather was gonna be here in February here in Virginia um, because we moved well I moved first um, in February so right after we got married I moved here to Virginia and my husband was still living in um, what is it called Indiana so we were separated for six months and I'm gonna talk about that as well but um, we didn't have a big wedding because at first I was this girl who wanted to have this big not big wedding I wanted to be more intimate a small intimate wedding, but I wanted to be very elegant very cute and all that other stuff uh, But when we came here in February and we went to some of the venues and just to tell them like this is what we want This is what we're paying and stuff like that. It became more so somebody else's wedding Well, this is what we could do for you or we normally do it like this and I'm just like Okay I wanted my ways, um, so they felt like they knew what was best for us. That was one of the reasons. Um, two, family, some of the people that I really wanted to be here was kind of iffy, and you know, I always said that I wanted all my siblings to be at my wedding. I want um, my friends to be there because you know, I, I'm very like, if I rock with you. I rock with you 110%, but it's certain people that wasn't really seeing that they won't, was going to be able to come. And I know everybody's like, it's your day. You know, if they love you, they should come and stuff like that. But to me, it's more than that. I want to make sure that like these certain people share this moment. So that was another reason why we didn't have a big wedding. What we decided to do is um, maybe on our five, five or 10 year mark or somewhere in between, um, we actually do a wedding. We got married February 10th of 2017 and my whole life changed. <laughs> I have always loved my husband. I have always been very like clingy to him. I need to be with my husband. But knowing that we got married and I was going to move out or I was going to move away and he was going to have to stay back um, just 
just because of the military, the way the military worked at that time, I had emotional problems, let's just say. <laughs> I have become very emotional, very like, you know, in my mind I had this idea of what I wanted to be as a wife. Like I said in my previous videos, if you haven't seen them, make sure you go check them out. And for the first six months of our marriage, we were gonna be separated, not by choice, but just by like what our jobs have brought. We knew that that was coming. However, I thought I'd prepare myself for it. I really wasn't that prepared. So I moved here, babe came here with me for about two weeks. We had been literally together like every day. Like we would go to sleep together, we would go work out together. We will always be together. And then all of a sudden it was just, you live over here and you live over here. And I'm just like, I'm about to start crying now. Cause it was really hard for me. It was challenging. And I just found, I knew that I loved my husband so much above all else, like above everything else, you know? And it was just so hard for me to realize that he wasn't gonna be with me. So um, he's here now and I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with me but uh it was hard those six months was hard and even though we seen each other so i got here in february he left in early march or late february so i got here about february 10th 11th and he stayed until like the 28th or whatever the case may be and when he left um i had already had started work and i was trying to get myself into working out and all that other stuff and um, that just did not take away the fact that my husband, my best friend, this person that I, you know, share my life with and the one that I stood in front of, you know, a pastor or, um, a judge as we went to the courthouse to get married and, um, said, I will be with you forever. And he wasn't here. And, um, so we will see each other. So like if a, a holiday came up or if we got time off of work or whatever the case may be, um, and it was the same, like on the weekends or whatever the case may be, we would drive Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, um, was our halfway point from Indiana to where I stay here in Virginia or where we stay now in Virginia. So we would go to Pittsburgh and we would just chill like the whole weekend, but time I'm gonna tell you guys, like that was probably the most challenging time, one of the most challenging times in my life to be separated from my husband. We lived on FaceTime, I'm telling you. Like his phone, literally he had to get a new phone once he moved here because we would go to sleep on FaceTime, we would wake up on FaceTime, we would call each other, we would text. It was, our phones had got so much activity because like it was like I don't want to miss a second of your life. I don't want to miss a second of your life. And the seconds that I missed, it made me like agitated, irritated and yeah. We traveled for the first time in this uh, in 2017. So um, we had already been like driving. So when we were in Indiana, we would go to Chicago or we would go to my hometown, Kankakee, or we would, uh, we would go to Cincinnati. We would go to different places and stuff like that. So we traveled, but we never got on an aircraft together. And when I tell you I'm so simple, like I was so excited that we were going on an airplane together. Um, so he came here in September and we took like a little honeymoon, vacation, visit your family and friends type of ordeal. And we flew to Arizona and he met the rest of my family. Oh my God. I had already met his family before we got married. Um, so he had met some of my family, but not all. So he um, still needed to meet my older brother, my younger brother, some of my uh, siblings, you know, my nieces and nephews. He had already met my mom, my dad, um, some of my aunties and stuff like that. But my older brother was who I was, you know, I was really wanting him to meet him. And I was nervous because my older brother is like, I love my brothers because I, I hung out with them more than I hung out with my sisters. Uh, but my older brother, me and him just got this relationship. Like, it's just weird. And he's just like, you know, I used to say, I don't need no man. All I need is my brother and my daddies. And then that just kind of went out the window. <laughs> so I really wanted him and, him and my older brother to click. And um, so I was nervous about that. But they met and they clicked and we hung out. We had a good time. Um, he met some of my close friends, some of my best friends. He met Pernola. Uh, Natalie and it was just a wonderful thing like being able to see like they could see like 
full circle. She used to be like this and you know, she's still the same way, but now she, she has this love for her husband. Like I love my husband. And that's probably why I've been rambling for like 39 minutes talking about him. Here now, just learning about myself and 2017 was one of those years that I literally felt like I turned 28 and boy, when I turned 28, it was, I probably became even more emotional than what I did when I turned 26. Cause <laughs> I've been so emotional since I've been 20, 26 going into 27. But, um, I learned a lot about myself in 20, 2017 you know, learning what type of wife I want to be still learning that because, you know, one year marriage is not going to be like the say all be all and this is how you're going to be. I started a YouTube channel. Oh my gosh. So I had always wanted to talk about or do something related to like love and relationships. So um, earlier in 2016, I was talking more so about doing something because I was prepared um, I was engaged at that time, so I wanted to start a channel called Live, Love, and Propose. Um, but due to like the way that I was working, we was working all the time, I didn't have any time to do that. Um, so then my husband bought me a camera for my 27th birthday. Yeah, he bought me a camera for my 27th birthday. He said, once we leave, you know, this is for you to get started on your YouTube channel. So he bought me the camera. And um, when I got here, I was like just preparing. When I got here in Virginia, I was just preparing, you know, for YouTube or whatever. But then in 2017, like I was just like, I kept on going back and forth. Like now that I'm married, I really wanna, you know, I have questions. I really wanna talk to women. I wanna see what they think about marriage and everything. So um, one day I went to buy this book. This is what I'll be looking off to the side of. Um, and it's been my planner, uh, and I was like, I'm about to start a YouTube channel. So let's go to October. Where you see October right there, 29th. It says post first YouTube video. So I was like, I'm going to put up a YouTube channel and I just wanted to do it for a hobby. I watched a lot of people on YouTube. One of my biggest shows is gay babe TV. And I was like, I love their relationship. I love what they stand for. And I had already, but it wasn't something that I like, some of the stuff that they did, like they do daily vlogs and stuff like that. I wanted to like more so just, you know, I wanted my crowd to be wives and future wives. So I was like, I'm gonna do a YouTube channel. And I was so nervous. And actually this is my, the shirt that I wear in my first video. <laughs> Thanks Target. And, um, it was the Sunday that I had to launch and I was so nervous. I sat over there on the stairs and first of all, the video was downloading or uploading and once it got done, I had to publish it and I had to do all the other stuff behind it. It was my first video ever. Introduction to the wife side. I'm gonna leave that link above. Um, so go ahead and make sure y'all click on it. But introduction to the wife side, I was nervous, I was excited and I launched my video and I said, I'm about to be a YouTuber. In December, I Aiden had come and I felt a little bad that I was gonna be having to edit or, you know, take away time from family time to do YouTube. And it just had me question like, I wonder if they feel like this, you know? And so I started to second guess myself. I was like, maybe my husband feel the same way. So I was like, maybe YouTube is not for me for me and I ended up deleting my YouTube channel. And I told my husband that I had deleted my channel and he was like, what? And I was like, yeah, like, you know, I just felt like, you know, I wanted to make sure I was being in, involved in our marriage. And because being a YouTuber, like, I have not done it for long. Like I've done it from the end of October, so November until the end of December um, or until now. Being a YouTuber, it takes time. Like you cannot just sit down and be like, this is that and then you upload it to the computer. No, it's a lot that goes into it, you know? I would find myself battling like, okay, do I wanna do YouTube and you know, help some wife out there or do I wanna make sure I'm 100% active in my marriage? And obviously every single time, if anything like that comes up, I'm gonna go with my marriage. And when I told my husband, he was so disappointed in me. He was like, why would you do that? <laughs> 
And I was like, because, you know, I just felt like, you know, I was taken away from our relationship and stuff like that. And my husband isn't comfortable with being on camera. And when I started this, I knew that. I knew that my husband was not comfortable being on camera. He did not want to be filmed. And he said he would have to gradually work up into it. He don't mind me posting pictures and stuff like that. He just don't want to be actively in the camera just yet. He was very disappointed in me and he was like, I was so proud of you. Like you had 29 subscribers, even though that's not a lot. Some people may laugh, but it's, it's hard to get people's attention now when you have so many people out there doing YouTube. And he was like, you know, your channel was growing. You know, I had over 700 views on my videos and stuff like that. And he, you know, it was a lot of people backing me and he made me realize that I think our disappointment was the same. You know, he was really disappointed and I was like, well, what do I do? And he just said like, I don't know. <laughs> and so I talked to my sister and she was like, you need to go back and finish YouTube because everybody loved it. I did not know how much support I had. And now I'm here, like I'm here. I have put up my first video. I'm gonna be putting up my first video after that whole little short storm. One thing that I want, uh, I wanna deep dive into my YouTube channel, um, become more creative. And then I also want to start going back to uh, school. I mean, it's free. I might, why not get a, a degree? Um, and then most importantly, I wanna just continue to grow in my marriage. Like nothing else is more important to me than making sure I have a successful marriage. That to me trumps everything, all things, every day, all day. Like I need to have a successful marriage. Like I just want to influence the children that we will have in the future that you can find true love and love can last forever. And I want to continue to spread my love to my YouTube. But the most important thing is me making sure that everything in my marriage is done to the best of my ability to make sure our marriage is successful. And that's going to be my New Year's resolution from 2017 when I first got married all the way into the Lord Jesus lay my head cold because at the end of the day, my husband is my number one supporter and I'm going to be his number one supporter. So that's it. Thank you so much, wives and future wives, for tuning in to the wife side. I hope that you all enjoyed my recap of 2017. It was a busy, really crazy, fulfilled, emotional, enjoyable year. I look forward to 2018 being a lot less stressful, but a lot more um, enjoyable. <laughs> ah, challenges are going to come. No matter what you're doing, no matter who you are, what position you are in life, you're going to have challenges. So I just hope that you all have a happy new year. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.